And joining us now is Murphy Brown herself, Candace Bergen, Charles Kimbrough, who played Murphy's FYI, FYI co-anchor, Jim Dial, Faith Ford, the always perky Corky <laughs> Sherwood, Joe Regalbuto, FYI correspondent and Murphy's best friend, Frank Fontana, and of course, Grant Shod, FYI's Boy Wonder executive producer, <laughs> Miles Silverberg. <laughs> I don't think we have to do a segment. No, yeah, I, don't I think it's right. done. Yeah. Thank you for having Thank us. You very much. <laughs> I think we all said here. it all. One of the things that I went back and looked up, because we used to do a lot of segments together back in the day, because I was doing this show when you guys were the giant, giant hit, hits that come on CBS. But when I went back to do some research, and it almost in every case they wanted somebody else. CBS wanted somebody else to do, for the, for your character. Mm -hmm. Do you remember who they wanted for yours? Heather Locklear. Heather Locklear. And did Diane English get you and say, "No, I want Candace Bergen"? How did it work? She arm wrestled the head of CBS <laughs> after he spat me out of the reading, <laughs> and uh, and Diane just went back in and said. I, this is my show, and I believe in her, and that's how uh, I got it. There you go. And and it's kind of impossible to imagine then this show with Heather Locklear, and certainly not you know without you, sir. Now was it the same case? <laughs> Can't imagine. <laughs> I was a shoe in. The other hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, were you a lock from the beginning, or did you know no. that there was somebody else? <laughs> no, that I, they no. Wanted actually, I auditioned with one of my oldest friends in the business, wonderful actor, and, yeah. we, and we both kind of flew out together, which was very strange. <laughs> uh, they, they flew us to the coast, and that's what they do. <laughs> Back in the day, that's <laughs> what they... And then uh, we had to go both to the to Warner Brothers and to the CBS, the network, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I got it. I, it was one of those uh, things, I mean, it was, it was a wonderful, wonderful twist of, of faith that I got a chance to be with these people and have a wonderful time for 10 years. Because in the and Faith, sorry, yeah. Harry, Faith was cast, and one of the things she did in her audition was she danced the way Corky Sherwood would dance. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Faith was the only one the network liked. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hated the so rest of true. us. I didn't know how they were going to build a show around Faith, but they no. wanted to. <laughs> no, that wasn't the way it went at all. I, went, I auditioned many times. I, I can remember meeting Candace, and I actually was petrified. I thought... <laughs> She, she will definitely not like me very much. I'm just certain of it because, you know, my character alone had about two marbles to rub together. Right. <laughs> but nevertheless, I was determined that the character of Murphy would end up liking Corky. So. And Candace also ended up liking me, so it kind of worked out together, you know. Oh. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she wore her down. Who doesn't like Faith? <laughs> now, were you a first choice, or were oh, you? Oh, no, probably no. 50, 60. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. There was, I think every guy in, in L.A. went and read for Frank, and they all later guest starred on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the one who actually so got, got the, the part. So I got the part, but it was, it was fun. They were all saying, screw you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Every time they came on. Good morning, Joe. <laughs> and for Miles, were there other Miles Silverbergs, or were you, well, as soon as they saw, when, when they saw, you saw that Grant shot, he's the guy. No. <laughs> Tell that no, story, I, I was the I was the like the last one cast, and I had a, 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 a experience very similar to Candace's. Or they t told me to leave the room after I read, and, <laughs> and, and then Diane had to go back in and bully, yeah. bully them. And how yeah. interesting though, because in all that built up wisdom of a network, they it's almost like we don't want any of you. These are the people that end up on the show, and you run for. 10 years and yeah. collect 18 Emmys. Thank Remarkable. You. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think the group of us together is what made the show work, really. I think if you separated any of us, it wouldn't have worked the same. I really do believe we really were an ensemble. We were like a family. It was um, magic, Harry. <laughs> magic. <laughs> TV magic? Yeah, TV magic. <laughs> it's just the best kind, as we know. No, what was magical is that we ever got the shows done because we I had know. so much fun. And, we had so you know, much we fun. had so much dialogue, especially Candace had so much dialogue to learn on a week to week basis. Oh. It was all really uh, good, oh. right? Yeah, Wonder, wonderful writing. Yeah. Oh, really? Fantastic and so writing. of the moment. I mean, it yeah. really was of the yeah. moment. But yeah. they don't write that much dialogue in shows anymore at one go. Like, I remember I used to get a whole page that. <laughs> <laughs> it was not supposed to be at 
You're not supposed to have a breath in between. <laughs> yeah, that's they don't true. do that anymore. It do you have a line here? We always try to get the energy of like a front page, the newsroom, sure. a lot of yeah, uh, yeah. and yeah. you know, and I'm not working with her anymore, so it's it's not really brown nosing, but I have to say <laughs> Candace was such a surprise. Besides being <laughs> Candace Bergen, she just she worked hard. She, she loved. She was our leader, lo and loved to make a fool of herself, which was such oh, a joy to see. <laughs> Whenever she got to do the stupidest she thing, just, she was happiest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. And uh, she kept thinking she'd have a scene off. She never had a scene off. You, had the, the you, whole I first, mean, you literally were the first in year. every single second. Of yeah. That. She said, "Now I'm off this next scene, right?" She says, "No, no. <laughs> turn, the page. turn the page. You can right. you have the first. You know, have the first." The time. show's called Murphy Brown. And they kept reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have this recollection that you all, you might have been here or right around the time the whole Dan Quayle thing happened. And I remember this, no one knew how to deal with it because no. here was a fictional show that yes. made fun of current events and then current events came all the way over oh. and said, yeah. no, there's, there's something wrong with the character that would have a... <laughs> Have a be, a be a single mother. Do you remember how? Yes, crazy we were just was? baffled at first. Really strange because he was a pa he got up on the rostrum, said, "This is wrong, a single woman, a child." And we thought, well, it's a, "This is a fictional character." <laughs> I mean, it was very strange. Right. And yet, I mean, I mean yeah, there, yeah, yeah. and, and yeah. yet, um, she she was quite iconic, Murphy Brown. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I mean, it was given a great deal of thought. What about having the baby? And it was, you know, in terms of reflecting what was going on mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. And and Dan Quayle's speech was not stupid because he didn't write it. Right. But um, I mean, <laughs> nobody felt that fathers were dispensable. It was, of course, ridiculous. But um, but it was reflective of what was happening and what's happening today. Yeah, yeah it's still yeah. happening. Yeah. It was such a huge thing. It just catapulted the show into a place that we didn't necessarily even want to be. I mean, <laughs> you know, everywhere you went, people who never watched the show were now watching. What are you right. guys going to do? What are you going to do? So it was a big moment yeah. for us. Giant, giant show, giant success. But I have some very interesting questions oh. about each oh, of your no. characters oh, that I'm going to see that. if you all can <laughs> remember. Okay. Candace? Well, how many assistants did Murphy have in 10 seasons? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 80? Can I guess? Please. 160. <gasps> no, it was only 93. Oh, oh you were everyone from Everyone from Pee Wee Herman to Carol from Bob Newhart. All right, Faith. <laughs> Corky was originally first runner-up at the Miss America contest, but that got the crown when the winner was forced to resign. Why did she resign? Um, can I, uh, she, uh, I know that I... <laughs> I know that I won by default. I think she, right. was, she was doing things that were... were not nice. No. Good. Well, <laughs> she quote, in Corky's voice, she told everyone she loved animals. No one yes, took her literally. Yes, an animal. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to see it. All right, Charles. Jim Dial was married to his wife, Doris, for over 30 years. They also have a dog. What was the dog's name? <laughs> All right, never mind. I know that look. Trickster. Joe, Trickster. when Murphy's son Avery turns one year old, Frank gave him a memorable birthday present. What famous singer did he get to sing at the party? Barry Manilow. Very good. All right, ding, 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 ding. The only one who still has where a memory. Where did Miles Silverberg go to college? Harvard. Harvard. Very good. And who could forget, who could forget this most important Trickster. episode ever? Be it ever so humbled. Ho! Oh. 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 The presence. He's 12. He's 12, and look at those glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. There you go. Very nice to see you all. Oh, it's great, great to see you, Harry. Thank you, Thank you again. Really Thanks great. So much we for enjoyed that show too. so, so much. Thanks. Love to see you. Thank you.